something that I kind of backed into was compositing and tracking and everything because I'm, I'm basically an editor. However, it, uh, it tends to get you a little bit more time on a job, so it doesn't hurt to know this stuff. Uh, we did a show, uh, a feature, uh, Legally Blonde, and there was a, uh, a couple of shots that had to be replaced after they shot it. They, they weren't too pleased with this house. And it's supposed to be a mansion with a pink roof, and it was a fake city behind it. So we started with a composite in Photoshop to make sure it would work. Now the only problem was that there was a drive up where the camera panned it in. So we had to, uh, we had to replace it in motion. And there it is, tracked in. So there's a split here where you can actually see it. The original on the left. So they got a little bit more for their, their uh, production money. Then here's another shot later in the, in the show where a limo pulled in and the camera to pans down. In order to track that in, you couldn't do it with a point tracker, which is pretty much the most common, uh, one of the common tools for matching uh, moves. There it is. Jeez. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, pretty powerful tracker. And the thing that was amazing about it was that this program uh, is a little brother of a program called Monet, which was about a $3,000 program. Uh, in this shot, they, uh, they shot it in a place where they had a clearance for a logo on the bottom left, and then they uh, were told that they couldn't use that logo, so we replaced it on the top right. And all the rotoscoping and tracking around her mouth was all done with this uh, program Mocha. Now, when she leans over, the camera moves, and that was a real trick to get to get right. But you'll see it here. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty intense track. Jeez. And then uh, this th another great thing about this program is that when you want to do a corner point, uh, where you want to insert video into a screen of some sort, uh, they shot this with a phone, and they wanted to put some imaging on the phone. And you can see there's reflections, and she's moving it every every direction. There it is, the track. Follows all the reflections. Looks pretty real. And then uh, they want a little special effect here. So, so you can see it, it does, it's, it's a flawless tracker. You, you will not find a tracker that works better. I tried to do some of these things with uh, Apple Motion, After Effects, point trackers, but they can't, they just can't do what this thing does. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty tricky to do. Jeez. MGM didn't want uh, pink underwear, so we switched it, tracked it in and rotoed it in. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> Are you twenty nine ninety five? Um, that is a full fledged tool. It's got everything in it as things to correct optical distortions. It's got a lot of functionality. But uh, Mocha is pretty much the the guts of it when it comes right down to track. And I think the thing that you like about it is uh, it's one ninety nine. And that's for Final Cut. That's the version for Final Cut. And there's and a special tonight we'll be talking about later. Yeah, there's a special tonight. Is there a version for motion? Well, the, the data will track into motion. It will follow right into motion. Uh, the other thing is that uh, now, aside from the point tracking, another one of the tools that they included in this, in this nice little package that came up with a, a plug-in for Final Cut. It's not a typical plug-in where you open it up and you operate it. But this one will recognize the shapes that you create in Mocha. And it's the best rotoscoping. You know, it'll it'll get you through ninety percent of what you need to do, maybe maybe more. So I'll show you uh, one of the new tricks that this will allow you to do. Let's see. All right. So here's a uh, a shot, a clip that they supplied us with. Uh, let's see. Can't get it full screen. Okay. Well, anyway, 
You see on her head, there's kind of a glow on her cheek and stuff that it could look better than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this clip and uh, reveal it in the finder. And there it is. And I'm going to open it with Mocha for Final Cut. And this is pretty simple. I mean, I think it might be even easier than the point tracker that comes with, you know, motion. And I'm just going to step right through it here, kind of over right. And here's your data here, the name of the file, uh, the length, the bit depth, here's your size, here's your frames, and uh, your frame rate. And it's sort of, if you let it go, it will pretty much walk you through it without doing anything. It's pretty easy. 